Porter, fetch my book of ancient symbols. Ow! Let's see. Sacred temple? Jaguar paw? Nah. Ah, here we go. To whom it may concern, if you discover this message, please do your part to share the tale of the great Maya civilization. Take care now. It's so. Uh, something tells me my translation's a little off. But anyway, sure, it's so. I'll do my best. The Maya were one of the first great civilizations of the Americas. Their territory stretched from the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico down to El Salvador. Yeah, people sometimes confuse them with the Aztecs, another society from the Mesoamerica region. But the Maya came thousands of years before. Their first settlements are almost 4,000 years old. And unlike the Aztecs, the Maya weren't part of a centrally controlled empire. They were more of a loose collection of independent states. Each had its own ruling family. At the peak of the civilization, the capitals of these states were major urban centers. These cities were dominated by massive steppe pyramids and huge palaces for the ruling families. Each city-state controlled surrounding farmlands and smaller towns. And they were always looking to expand their influence through military conquest. Neighboring cities were constantly at war with each other. They didn't even necessarily speak the same language. But we consider them one civilization because they shared a common culture. Well, for one thing, the Maya had the most complex writing system in Mesoamerica. Maya script looks sort of like Egyptian hieroglyphics. Only, many symbols are phonetic, representing sounds instead of ideas. So you can combine them to form spoken words, just like the letters in our alphabet. But instead of just 26 letters, the Maya had hundreds of phonetic symbols. Much of what we know about them comes from their writing. They carved it into stone and wood, painted it on pottery, and even wrote in an early type of book called a codex. They also inscribed their script onto giant stone columns called stele. These spectacular monuments depict stories of conquest, rulers, and gods. Yep, religion was at the center of Maya culture. A desire to understand the gods drove many of their scientific and technological advances. Step pyramids were often topped with temples dedicated to the most important gods. These structures sometimes doubled as astronomical observatories. Long before telescopes, the Maya created detailed charts of the stars. They viewed the shifting night sky as a story of the gods' activities. Many Maya temples and pyramid complexes were constructed to align with specific constellations. What we call the Pleiades Cluster was especially important. The Maya believed that their ancestors originally came from there. Astronomy also served a more practical purpose, marking time. The Maya calendar is one of the most accurate in history. Just like ours, it counts out a 365-day sun cycle, but that's combined with a cycle of 20 day names, which is combined with another cycle of 13 day numbers. Altogether, that makes for close to 20,000 unique days. Put another way, it takes 52 years to complete one calendar round. It makes a little more sense when you see the Maya number system. They used a base 20 system, which means that there were 20 individual digits instead of the 10 we use. Each bar represents a 5, and each dot represents a 1. The shell is a 0, making the Maya one of the earliest civilizations to use it. But in the 8th century, the civilization essentially disappeared. Busy and prosperous cities were abandoned, leaving behind the ruins that now dazzle tourists. Historians have long debated the reason for the collapse. One popular theory suggests terrible droughts, coupled with bad environmental management. The Maya people were forced to leave to avoid starvation. When the Spanish arrived in the 16th century, they encountered smaller, scattered settlements. It took the Spanish more than 150 years to conquer the remaining Maya. By the end of the 17th century, Spain had completed its conquest. But the Maya people didn't go anywhere. They still live in the same area they've occupied for thousands of years. Well, that's all I know about the Maya. Huh. 
Eh, it's probably just a typo.